Another type of word problem is the type that we could call number problems, where we add a bunch of numbers together, the numbers are unknown, and they add up to a certain thing or something like that. So in this case, we have an example that says we're going to add four consecutive integers. So what are consecutive integers? Well, they are integers, one falling right at the other. For example, if the first integer is one, the next one would be two, the next one would be three, the next one would be four. So in this case, uh, we don't know what the first one is, so let's, let's call that x. So let x equal the smallest of these integers. So if the first one, the smallest one is x, then the next one would be x plus 1, the next one would be x plus 2, and the next one would be x plus 3. And the problem tells us that when we add the four consecutive integers together, they add up to 282. Okay, and all we have to do now is solve this algebraically. First of all, I need to drop all the parentheses since I have nothing but additions. We can simply take those off. So this is x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 3 equals 282. So the reason why I put the parentheses on there is just to show you that I'm adding four consecutive integers. Okay, the next thing, I want to move all the x's to the left side, which they're already there, and then move all the numbers to the right side. So that gives me x plus x plus x plus x, they're still there, equals 282, and I move the numbers, the 1, the 2, the 3, the other side, this becomes minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Next step is to add all the x's together, so that gives me 4x on the left side. I add all the numbers together, 282 minus, that would be minus 6, that would be 276. And then we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the x. So we get x is equal to, uh, that would be 4 goes into 280, uh, 260, that would be ah, 70, 70, 80, 69. Is that right? 4 times 6 is 240, 4 times 9 is 36, that's 276. Wow, yes. So the smallest of the consecutive numbers is x equal 69. That means that the next one is one more, the next one is one more, and so forth. So the four numbers are 69, 70, 71, and 72. Okay, now just to make sure that we did this correctly, what we could do is add them together and make sure we end up with 282. So I'm going to add them together. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 2 is 12, that's 2, carry the 1. 7, 7, 7, 7, that's 28. And sure enough, bingo, correct answer, just to make sure.